Welcome. We are happy to introduce to you the new version of the site management app for all business units in Edwards. It's customized to your individual needs and there are some more nice features. For more information, please download the entire tutorial from the SFDC microsite. And that's how you make the most of the app in your daily business. Download the app from the Edwards App Store. After starting the app, click on Audits. Then the list of Audible accounts shows up. Scroll down to find the required one. Just click on it to start the audit. The so-called form fill screen is displayed and shows already the account to be audited. Now select a ship to mode. Click on the drop down button and choose the desired ship to method. Now choose between two audit type options. The first option is full scan. This will initiate a completely new audit for the account ship to set up you have selected. The second option is add to existing scan. This enables you to continue from an already existing audit that was submitted within one week of this current audit. After having selected the required scan type, the app displays the account information. First check to make sure all the information is correct in the account confirmation section. If not, just scroll up and do the required changes. Pressing the next button takes you to the preview screen of the audit. Here you see all the items you are auditing at the location. There are three ways to scan items. Manual add, scan barcode, and scan RFID. Let's have a look at each scan method. Within the manual add screen, you just enter the serial lot of the item you want to scan. Then click save and you're done. Using the barcode is the most convenient way to scan an item. It uses the camera of the smartphone and lets you focus to the barcode of the item. As soon as the valid barcode is detected, the app takes a snapshot and will add the serial number into the white field below the scan area. Now click Done. The third option by scanning an item is Scan RFID. Click on Scan RFID and the screen appears. Make sure the blue pen scanner is synchronized with the mobile app. Scan your item with the pen. If successful, the serial number is shown in the white area. Now click on Done. Whatever method for scanning you choose, the Site Audit Management app will respond with one of these screens and give you the current status of your latest scan. Item successfully scanned, item has expired, or tag already read. Once you are done with scanning items, you will get into the so-called acceptance screen. Now you check each of the scan items regarding the current status. The default is set on missing. The screen background for missing items is yellow. In case an item is missing, just enter a reason code why these items could not be scanned. If necessary, please enter a comma to provide extra information per item. To enter a reason code for missing items, click Missing under the item and it will display more options for missing items. Once you are finished, click Submit. As the confirmation screen is displayed, you can send the result of the scan to an email contact and further details about the scan itself. Add your personal information if required by the situation, then just click Submit and you are done with the audit. When you finish submitting an audit, this screen will appear confirming that it was submitted. Any questions? Then please contact us via email or via chatter on salesforce.com.